Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to talk to you about sleeping your way to success. My work brings me into daily contact with self-employed people and most come to me initially to learn how to get really good at selling. And I really love watching the face of a student light up when they first discover that selling is an art form or when it first hits them that they don't have to worry about memorizing a script and sounding like a robot because after learning the fundamentals, they can inject their own personality and come across as truly authentic. Uh, but because I specialize and work with self-employed salespeople and business owners, we very quickly move past sales and onto other topics like how to handle the unique challenges that come along with directing your own branding and marketing and lead generation and accounting and your technology packages and all the stuff that comes along with serving your clients. Oh, and then there's your personal life, right? Understandably, it can get overwhelming. And I remember when years ago I was approached by a student who told me that she just couldn't sleep. Uh, she said she couldn't turn her mind off once she got in bed and I could tell she was desperately looking for help. So I instinctively said this. I said, think of your mind as a tool. Like a carpenter, you wouldn't wear your tools to bed. So when you walk past your dresser tonight, touch the top of your head and then touch the top of your dresser. And that'll be symbolic for taking your mind off and setting it down for the night. So when you get into bed and your mind starts to swirl, just gently remind yourself that you don't have your tools. So those thoughts will have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs> and so as I left the room after that session, I was like, what the hell? Like, where did that come from, Jason? That was so stupid. I felt really silly. Uh, but next week, uh, when I got back to her in the next session, she sprinted up to me and she gave me this big hug. And she said, thanks to you, my whole family is sleeping better than ever. Even my boys take their tool belts off before bed. Okay, so how cool is that, right? It's the first time I can ever remember serving at the highest level that a coach can serve. And that's when a coach holds a clear space uh, without an ego or an agenda. So the student can evoke whatever is needed through the coach. I mean, if I have thought logically about it, I would have never have given her that advice, which sounded silly when it first came out of my mouth. But I'm glad I did because this week, as I finished reading Why We Sleep, a book I mentioned before, I learned that just two days of less than eight hours of sleep has been proven to cause an uncontrollable appetite increase. So lack of sleep causes your body to decrease production of a hormone called leptin, which makes you feel full and increases the hormone ghrelin, which causes hunger. So it's like your body is punishing you twice for the same offense. And that's just one drawback to a lack of sleep that this book covers that stood out probably because so many people are focused on getting into shape in the month of January. So that stood out to me. But these days we're learning so much about the harmful effects of sleep deprivation. I'd like you to consider this. Number one, when you don't sleep, you aren't on your A game. And even if they don't say it, your clients know it and worse, they can feel it. And number two, when you don't take care of yourself, it's like you're sending a signal to life, to the universe, to your creator that you aren't ready for and you can't that you aren't ready for more. You can't handle more, more clients, more responsibilities and more money, right? So over the next week, when you go to bed, I want you to top the touch the top of your head, take your tool off and see what happens and then come back and leave us a comment and let me know. <laughs> I want to know if, if your children start taking their tools off as well. Well, that's what I learned this week. And now I want to know what did you learn this week? Was it this or maybe something else? Drop down, leave us a comment, join the conversation to help us all stay in growth mode. And as always, thanks for watching you guys. My name is Jason Edwards and let's go think bigger this week.